Crash Course on Japanese Religion, an introduction to Japan's major religions, including Shintoism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. Japan has a rich religious heritage that has evolved over the centuries. The country's religious landscape is dominated by Shintoism and Buddhism, with Confucianism playing a significant role as well. Here's a crash course on each of these religions. Shintoism Shintoism is Japan's indigenous religion and is characterized by its focus on the worship of nature spirits known as kami. Shintoism is a polytheistic religion, and the number of kami worshipped in Japan is estimated to be in the millions. Shintoism's most recognizable feature is its shrines, which can be found all over Japan. The shrines are typically wooden structures with a distinctive sloping roof, and are often surrounded by trees and other natural features. Shinto shrines are places of worship, but they are also considered to be the homes of the kami, and people often visit them to seek good fortune or to give thanks for blessings received. One interesting aspect of Shintoism is the practice of purification rituals. These can take many forms, such as washing one's hands or mouth before entering a shrine, or taking part in a more elaborate ritual involving a priest and sacred water. The purpose of these rituals is to purify oneself before approaching the kami. Another interesting aspect of Shintoism is the role of the emperor in the religion. The emperor is considered to be a descendant of the kami, and his position is therefore seen as a sacred one. This has led to the idea of state Shinto, where the government of Japan attempted to use Shintoism to promote nationalism and loyalty to the emperor. This practice was abolished after World War II. Buddhism Buddhism was introduced to Japan in the 6th century and has since become one of the country's major religions. It is based on the teachings of the Buddha, who lived in India over 2,500 years ago. There are several different schools of Buddhism in Japan, but the most popular is Zen Buddhism. Zen emphasizes the practice of meditation as a means of achieving enlightenment. Zen monasteries can be found all over Japan, and many people undertake intensive meditation retreats there. One interesting aspect of Buddhism in Japan is the concept of Kami no Michi, which means the way of the gods. This refers to the blending of Shintoism and Buddhism, and the idea that the two religions can coexist peacefully. Many Japanese people consider themselves to be both Shinto and Buddhist. Another interesting aspect of Buddhism in Japan is the role of the Bodhisattva Kanon. Kanon is a Bodhisattva of mercy and compassion, and is often depicted as a female figure. She is one of the most popular deities in Japan, and is believed to protect women and children, as well as those who are suffering. Confucianism Confucianism is not a religion in the same way that Shintoism and Buddhism are, but it has played a significant role in Japanese society. Confucianism is a system of ethics and social order that was developed in China by the philosopher Confucius. Confucianism emphasizes the importance of hierarchy and respect for authority. In Japan, this has led to the development of a highly structured society with a clear hierarchy of social classes. Confucianism has also influenced the Japanese education system, with an emphasis on discipline and respect for teachers. One interesting aspect of Confucianism in Japan is the role of the samurai. The samurai were a class of warrior nobility who dominated Japanese society from the 12th to the 19th century. Confucianism had a strong influence on the samurai, who saw themselves as upholders of a strict moral code. Here are top 12 Japanese customs along with their names in Japanese and a brief description. 1. Bowing, Ojigi, bowing is an important part of Japanese etiquette and is used to show respect, gratitude, and apologies. The depth and duration of the bow depend on the social context. 2. Gift giving, Amiyage, giving gifts is a common way to express gratitude or to share a souvenir with others. A mere gay is often given after a trip or as a token of appreciation. 3. Taking off shoes indoors, uchi na haki, in Japan, it is customary to take off shoes when entering a home, temple, or traditional restaurant. Slippers may be provided, but socks or bare feet are often preferred. 4. Eating with chopsticks, hashi, chopsticks are the primary utensils for eating in Japan. Proper use of chopsticks is important to avoid offense or embarrassment. 5. Apologizing, Shazai. Apologizing is considered an important part of Japanese culture and is used to show remorse or take responsibility for one's actions. 6. Public bathing, Sentu. Public baths are a common feature of Japanese culture, with both natural hot springs, onsen, and communal bathhouses, Sentu, 
available for relaxation and socializing. 7. Exchanging Business Cards, Meishi Kukan, Exchanging Business Cards is a common way to introduce oneself in business settings. The cards are presented with two hands and received with a bow. 8. Following queue etiquette, Retsu, queues are a common sight in Japan, and waiting in line is expected. Line cutting and pushing are considered rude and disrespectful. 9. Drinking green tea, Ryokucha, green tea is a traditional beverage in Japan, and it is often served in social situations or as a refreshment. It is also believed to have health benefits. 10. Slurping noodles, men, in Japan, it is acceptable and even encouraged to slurp noodles, such as ramen or soba, as a sign of enjoyment and appreciation. 11. Using honorific language, Keigo, Japanese has a complex system of honorific language that is used to show respect or formality in social situations. It is important to use the appropriate level of politeness in different contexts. 12. Keeping quiet on public transport, Densha Nai Shizuka Nisuru, in Japan, it is considered impolite to talk loudly or use mobile phones on public transport. Being quiet and respectful of others' personal space is expected. Here is a poem on Japanese religion and customs. In Japan's land of the rising sun. Religion and customs are deeply woven into one. Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples. A spiritual journey for those who are simple. Shintoism, an ancient belief. Worship of nature spirits, a profound relief. Kami, the gods of Japan. Guiding and protecting, part of their plan. Buddhism, the path to enlightenment. Meditation and mindfulness, a lifelong assignment. Zen monasteries for those seeking truth. A spiritual journey for the youth. Confucianism, a code of ethics and order. Respect for hierarchy, a social border. Samurai warriors, upholders of the code. Loyalty and honor, their unwritten ode. Customs of Japan, deeply steeped in tradition. Tea ceremonies, a peaceful rendition. Cherry blossom viewing, a symbol of life. Kimonos and katanas, cultural strife. In Japan's land of the rising sun. Religion and customs, a fusion of fun. A tapestry of beauty and spirituality. A unique blend of modernity and antiquity. Start planning your next global adventure with ease and convenience with our booking.com referral link https colon slash slash www.booking.com slash index.html aid equals 79893355 as a great choice to plan your next trip you can find and book flights hotels cars and local attractions all in one place and their price match guarantee ensures you're getting the best deal thank you for kind support our anhub metaverse channel and please watch more interesting videos here